Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydro Near. Uh, I have been quite busy after the last episode. I've been actually here for a couple hours now doing mining in uh, probably about two weeks in game. I have no idea. A uh, couple of things. Uh, I am aware about the water pump. I was just something I wanted to test out because I've seen everybody else uh, only use one and the power bo uh, pressure boosters. And nobody's actually tried using it, so, you know, I thought I'd give it a shot, see what happens, but uh, it kind of makes sense if they had the boosters, but you never know. Anyway, uh, I also realized, too, that I probably shouldn't have bought the har uh, drill at first. I probably should have got the harvester instead, because, believe it or not, this actually takes a long time to do. Uh, especially when you miss the water and you got to drop the bucket a couple of times. But uh, what I'm going to do is, like I said, I've been at this for a while. I'm hoping to get some money. I'm thousand bucks would be great and I have a feeling I might be more of it because I've been at this for quite some time. I have gotten uh, a few gems over there and a few shards so nothing crazy but I know I have had a lot of gold nuggets go into these pots. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a ring, we're gonna make a dagger and see how much money we can actually get. Did that go in? No it did not. I've also figured out the whole physics thing on this. Uh, items will fall through if they are still moving. You have to wait for them to fully stop for the game to actually lock in place. So that is a thing. Uh, lost a bucket too. It disappeared on me and then I found a way over here hidden behind a rock, which is quite something. Uh, I have re reached my way down to the bottom. Uh, it's kind of hit and miss really about what you get, either a little bit or a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna get this all smelted and I'll bring you back. Okay, the iron's almost cooked. So basically what I want to do today is try to get some sort of automation going. Uh, I haven't really decided what I, where I want to go right now, but I do have an idea where I want to end up. And I know there's there's other claims. I was going to hit M to open up the map, and then I realized it's all the way over there, and I don't feel like running to get it. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I do have pressure shards. Uh oh Oh, I missed one. Oh, wait. It's actually a gem. That's a good thing. Uh, sure, while I wait, may as well. I hope he adds some sort of automation into it for those down the road. So we'll see. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make a, a ruby ring. Just because I found a really nice big ruby, I thought we'd use that one, and we'll make a dagger as well. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and make the dagger first. Uh, I think that was the iron. I'll find out in a second here. Yes, it was. That was a lot of iron. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we gotta switch that to a ring. Uh, definitely gonna get some sort of proper spacing around here. Where's that emerald a ruby? Uh, I was like, what's that line from? And I realized it was the it was the anvil showing through. No, I don't want the anvil. Okay, uh, where's my bucket? We'll drop that in there. We'll drop this in here. And I'm guessing I might have to go to the other place across the river there. Bring the map up. Let's see here. I'm thinking they might be cheap, more, more expensive. Either way, I'm going to go sell this stuff and I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to go to the, the other one there over by the... It's his house there, where the dragon skull is. And everything was down except swords. Swords was up. So I decided to go to the jewelers. Now, this is actually a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, the jewelers, I was getting 4800 for this. Now, I want to ch actually check something. Okay, so the... Take this sword first. Because I know people have done this, but I want to see this for myself. I want to see what the sword is. So the, the sword, is, or the dagger, I should say, is down. Down 0.14. So run over here. And we'll see what the, they offer here. 800. 799. So if I go over here, it's probably going to be less. Is this per hundred or what? 759. Okay, so it is going to be lower. So, uh, in other words, these are higher or lower than normal market prices. Since I'm not too worried about it, uh, I do want to check the price of the ring, though, at the ju jeweler. Come here. Thank you. Physics. Gotta love them. Okay, and the ring. 
That was a lot of gold. 4,006. Yeah. I was actually hoping for like two grand. To be quite honest, I was not expecting that. 43.69. Okay, so we'll sell that here, there. And I'll sell this over here. And then I'm going to go grab the truck and then uh, I'll meet at the other town. And here we are with 5,169. Uh, where's the store? Over here. I'm not lost, I swear. I'll just drop that there. So, first we're going to grab one of these. I want that for sure. Now, I actually want to see how much it's going to be to get everything set up. I would need... Uh, I guess technically only three of these. I think I actually have enough of this. Ooh. One. Uh, two. And a three. Of course, it's going to take me a few trips. Okay, uh, I don't think I really need that right now. Hmm. Let me think here. I might actually need a couple of these. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'll try not to do it again, okay? That's not going to go in there. Uh, sure. And then if you convey... Oh. You would think that would be more expensive because it's more material. But apparently not. I'm going to have enough to do over then, so let me get a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, get all back to the uh, site there, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. And believe it or not, I have a lot of stuff in the truck. Got a lot of busy ga game mechanics. Uh, I actually had enough. I was almost thinking about buying another claim. Uh, oop. Get me out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I do? There we go. And I glitched myself in there. I got so much stuff in there. I picked up 15 foundations. Picked up a couple more conveyor belts. And... As you can see, I got a lot of stuff in there. So I do want to sort of figure out what I want to do here. I w did want to go to another claim, but maybe we won't do that yet. Uh, just because I had to spend the money, so we got to make more money to so buy a claim and we move over to where the better dirt is. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to have the usual setup. I have the, the ram drill coming off onto a conveyor belt that goes up into the harvester that goes through conveyor sorters. So uh, let me get this all set up, and I will be right back. Uh oh, where did it go? There it is. Nice shot, right in the hole. Okay, trucks all unpacked. If you ever need anybody help, need, if you ever need help moving, I'm your man. Apparently, and I just get all that in there. Gotta love using game physics, right? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is sort of figure out the layout I was gonna have these set up. Originally, I was gonna actually have the uh, the sorters side by side, just have them spitting out the back, but uh, then that way things are going to get mixed. I do have funnels here, uh, which are going to drop into cauldrons. I got sort of an idea what the box is. I'm going to do. I've seen different air ideas. Everybody's got their own. I know these things are an absolute pain in the ass to get them in there, so uh, that's what we're going to do. So I still have a thousand bucks. I still got to buy pipe because I'm going to need probably need a few more pieces than that. Uh, I also need, probably might need another conveyor if I need to. That's why I didn't go ahead and buy the claim because the cheapest one there is is 970 with absolutely a terrible un uneven ground. There was another one for 1200 but yeah. So let me pick up a few more things and uh, see what I can come up with here. Okay, I think I'm finally done. I'm also completely broke too. Uh, I got 118 bucks left in my name. I had to buy a few more... Uh, vertical conveyors, uh, had a few more, buy a few more pipes, and all sorts of fun stuff, and yet I have no idea if this is going to work. I think it should, because I've seen other people do it this way. So everything is good, except the only thing I haven't done is corked off everything. Uh, I have boxed off the outputs on the conveyors, because I know these things can be, can be a little aggressive. So what I'm going to do is, that's going to be gold, that's going to be iron, this is going to be shards. Uh, the reason being is because I don't know if it's going to cause an issue with them being uncut or anything like that. And that way, whatever is left just comes up the bottom. And uh, there are hoppers in all the places. I put little walls up for the conveyors just in case. 
And hopefully this is going to work. We're going to find out. Uh, needless to say, it's a lot of money. And let's start by putting... Okay, I thought I lost them. Uh, I think this is the biggest one I found. So we'll put this in and hope it's enough. Oh, uh, I guess I have to do it this way. Okay, we'll drop that in there, close it, and open her up. Seems to be working. Oh. My. Right. I bought the hammer too. Oh, I heard something go through. Ah, there's that piece of dirt that was causing me problems. I was having trouble getting that bucket in there, and I knew there was a piece of dirt somewhere. And look at that, it's all over the place. Oh well, it's free money. Uh, let's see, where's that piece of dirt? Right there. I go and put the bucket in and start freaking out. So, uh, this is a little noisy, so I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. And hopefully when I come back, we'll have a lot of goodies. Okay, I have been at this for uh, quite some time. I don't know how many days it's been. I think I've been for the AFK here for I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours, somewhere around there, and uh, so far things have been working out pretty good, everything's been ending up in the right spot. It doesn't look like there's a lot there, I'm sorry about the, the noise, I really should plug those, uh, but they're colliding with each other, there's a lot in there, like, I don't know how much really it is, I'm sure it's going to be more than that clean out I had, or at least I'm hoping anyways. Uh, I've been thinking about uh, my setup that I want to do, and I have an idea. I'm not going to give any spoilers yet, but now that I have an idea of how this is working, everything seems to be, seems to be fine, and there's my breakdown, so that is time for me to stop, because I'm out of wrenches, believe it or not. Yeah, I'd, uh, it's the third time that's broken down. I fixed the filter once, and that was all my wrenches. So, yeah, uh, something else I want to check, too. Where's that hammer? Okay, we'll take this. Because uh, I've been noticing that shards have been getting stuck in here. So I want to see. You can see there's two of them there. There's one there and there's one there. I want to see what else is getting caught in there. Eh, just a piece of iron. So stuff is getting stuck in there. So that's not that big of an issue. Oh, it maintains its position, doesn't it? Alright, so let me uh, grab this piece of iron. Uh, put it over here. And uh, I'm going to start smelting this stuff up. We'll see what we have. And and then maybe in the next one we'll move into another claim. I'm not too sure. Uh, I did have to sell all my gems, unfortunately, because I was like dead broke. And it was either I sell my gems or I spend another half hour, hour panning, doing stuff by hand just to get what I needed to get the last couple parts for my system. So, yeah, I'm going to... Bring you in for this leg. Oh god, I can feel it. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm not leg is nothing new on this channel. From what I've seen, this could be an all time high. Wait for it. Wait for it. I didn't crash, did I? Oh god. I'll bring you back. Yeah, game crashed. <laughs> so I gotta do this, and you can see this is gonna take me a while. Alright, well, oh, while I do this, oh god, that lag. While I do this, uh, you go ahead and uh, place your guess in the comments below of how much gold I have here. I think what would. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna make a. Uh, one big gold ring with the smallest gem I have, and we'll f take a guess on how much that's worth. Well, just for the hell of it, we'll do a guess on the dagger, too. Anyway, I have a lot of work ahead of me. Okay, this is a lot. I'm getting like 50 from like the same spot. There is going to be a lot in here. That's why I was lagging, I can imagine. If I, all these nuggets spilled out, like I've been doing this for at least 10 minutes now. And the lag is just starting to go away with the bucket. So I'm going to do this for a few more minutes. I'm going to attempt to dump it. Uh, the iron shouldn't be so bad. Gee, I wish I was recording that. 
<laughs> Just had to dump the bucket. They flew everywhere. Oh my god. <sighs> that would have been easier if they were still in the bucket. So I guess I'm not doing that with the iron. Yeah, I was going to put crucibles underneath, but I did not have the money for it. I think I am flat broke. So I gotta pick up all my gold off the ground. <sighs> wow. The gold made it all the way to the shop. I thought I had all the gold. I'm working on the iron. I had another incident with the iron. And, and I'm just saying, pick it up that mess too. But yeah. My god, this gold went everywhere. It's in the river. It's in the second claim I actually totally forgot about. There's a chunk there. Some iron over here too. <sighs> okay, well, I'm almost done. Just a couple more things to pick up. But apparently I heard stuff drop in the river. And there's some iron, some gold, and fun stuff. So I'm almost done. I'll be back. Okay, I am back, finally. Uh, I decided to go ahead and see what we had for gems, and there was actually quite a few of them. They're all tiny. And I said I was going to take the smallest one I can. And uh, that one looks like the smallest one there. So we'll put this over by the anvil. That's going to be it for a ring. So now this is the iron pot, as you can see. And no problem. Just walk around fine with that. Pick this up. And we drop to about 10 frames a second. And it could be a lot worse. The only, re the only reason why it's not worse than that is that I didn't have enough wrenches on me. So, this is going to be the iron ingot. Go ahead and smelt this up. This be... It'd be a bit of a dagger, I'd say. Come on. Come on. I know I could buy a second one of these, but whatever. Three, two, one. Melt. Anyway, I'm going to melt these bars up and bring you back and we'll see what we got. Okay, I am done. So I got the... We'll put the gold in first. What's going on here? Okay, gold in. We'll put the iron on top. We'll do the dagger first. Uh, go ahead and change that to a dagger. And let's see how big this thing is. Alright. Alright, you working? There we go. Physics, physics are active today. 500 bucks. Uh, that would be my guess. Anyway, we change that to ring. There we go. Got that there. Now where'd that tiny little gem go that I had? Uh, there it is. I'm sure those are the tiny gems I gotta use, but whatever. I'm out. There we go. Okay, so let's uh, go see what kind of money we get out of these things. Judging by the size of that ring, I'm not going to expect much, but right now, anything's good. Because I don't have to work for any of this. Get in there. Let's try it this way. Really? Does it actually have to be inside? Oh. Uh, how can blitz do it? I can't. That's a big dagger. Anyway, uh, I'll meet you up there. <laughs> okay, daggers are up. So, uh, let us see. Okay, what was your guess on the, uh, the, the dagger? I'm saying 500 bucks. 1400 Wow. That says a lot about that ring I made. Come on, sell. Okay. Uh, rings are down, so we're going to sell those. Sell that at the jeweler. Okay, we run back here. Definitely have to do some exploring one of these days, because I know there's some secrets around. What? I have no idea. It'd be nice if we could run, too. That wasn't the bucket, it was uh, this one. I no, don't need the bucket, I just need the ring. The bracelet, the necklace, the hula hoop. The 14 pounds of gold I'm carrying in my hand. Now, with the amount of lag I had, this should be worth something. I got a better idea. Let's drop it in the well and get a boot out of it.
What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Six thousand, that's actually not bad. Cool. I have seventy-five hundred. Twenty almost eight grand. So I could go and uh, buy that expensive claim. Or I have money the money to get this set up set up running or uh, we could go take a take a look at the pit mine too or not the pit mine the, the mine there's I call it the pit mine because it's actually in a big giant sort of bowl crater sort of deal uh, we'll just leave this right here should be safe so yeah a good place to call it uh, definitely experienced a lot of leg I learned a thing about uh, putting my metal right into a cauldron first or a crucible to save the leg but at least this is up and running. We can exploit this all the way. I do have an, uh, some ideas I want to do to try to get the the coin flowing a little bit better. You know, we don't really have to worry about the, the gems. You know, gems are that big of a deal. These gems, however, are. But let's actually test this out right now. Because apparently, you can actually smelt these things down. Now, where? Oh yeah, I put them over, put them back. That's uh, something with a new update. You can smelt them down, and I think you can use them as one giant crystal. Uh, let's not do that. I know these things are rare, so I don't expect a lot to be in here, but I really don't want to be dealing with that mess. Uh, something I'll have to do, too, is I'll have to get the magnet on the staff. Go ex <laughs> explore around and see how much iron and gold has been scattered around here. I'm Probably why the number is so as low as it is. It's probably because I lost half of it to physics. It's probably on people's houses and in the wells and in the backyards and stuff. But uh, yeah, let me do this. Okay, that didn't take too, too long actually. But I will do is uh, stop doing that. Take that out and we will put you with the pile. You know, at least I still have a couple of fair size ones. They actually last quite a, quite a while, these these little guys here. But one thing I do know is that these can apparently be smelted now. Unless that was just some special blitz only edition that I don't have access to. But apparently you can make these glowing bars. I don't think you can actually make anything with them. It says you need iron there. Oh, okay, I was... Sorry, I was looking at the numbers there. Uh, see if we can make a dagger out of this stuff. See? We melt it down. Go ahead and make our... Shard bar. Mm, shard bar. Can we make a shard dagger? Oh. Can't make a shard dagger until we heat the inglet up. And apparently you can heat it up, too. And stop picking the damn thing up. I don't think it's gonna heat up. But we'll try anyways. Why not? No, oh, doesn't wanna work. But I do believe you can put it in here. I don't know why I have to do that. Uh, e, hold E. And drop it in there. Nope. And then that just basically allows you to combine all small ones together into one big bar, and then you get a longer lifespan out of that, but things still have to be repaired. But anyways, uh, so that is good. I got some money, so definitely going to have to ramp this up a little bit. I have, do, Like I said, I do have an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, I do know that the further down we go, the better we get. So I might have to look at that. I know it's not that deep here, but we, I might be able to get something going at least, but some sort of mass production. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.